Jumbo, my name is Lavin. They say water is life and water is indeed good for you. Unless, of course, you're playing a round of golf. The course that I'm going to play today presents water challenges that will test your mental strength to the maximum. And just in case you're aquaphobic like me, please carry extra golf balls. Welcome to Mudaiga Golf Club. Bodega Golf Club, proudly called the home of golf by its elite membership, is located along Kiambu Road in the capital city, Nairobi. Having been in existence for over 90 years, this 18-hole championship golf course boasts of being amongst the oldest golf clubs in the country. Bodega Golf Club's origins go back to actually the country club, the Bodega Country Club, where a white settler laid out a nine nine-hole private golf course. The settler was called James Morrison. Unfortunately, later on the same year, the World War, uh, World War I broke out. And for the next couple of years, the course uh, was not maintained, not looked after. In 1919, after the war, it was revived again, uh, but there was a huge shortage of funds to maintain both the course and the club. And hence, to overcome this, they decided to create two divisions. There was an associate membership division created, uh, as well as there was the golf section of the country club. Each each side having its own nine-hole nine uh, nine golf course. And it wasn't until 1926 that uh, the actual 18-hole golf course construction started. And in 1927, the clubhouse which you see behind us was actually opened. Today I'll attempt to take on the Mudaiga Challenge, but I won't do it alone. I'll be joined by one of the Kenya's top amateur golfers who's also represented the national team to the highest level. Uh, he's a member here at Mudaiga and one of the rising stars of Kenyan golf. Welcome, Mutai Kibugi. How are you doing, bro? Good, good, man. You're well? Yeah. Shall we do this? Yes, sir. Please be kind. I know it's your home course, but uh, <laughs> please be kind. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me lay up with a five iron. So Mutai, when did you pick up this beautiful game of golf? I started playing golf around six years of age. Yeah? Around six. But I only took it seriously when I was like around 10, 11. That's when I started taking it seriously. You know the things I took seriously when I was 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say them on camera. <laughs> um, anyway, I think um, earlier this year you won the Mudaiga Open. Yeah. Um, tell me, how, how was that experience for you? Uh, it was good, man. Especially because I never won a major championship like at Mutaiga. Yeah. So my name was never on the board. Yeah. So just to get my name on that board finally. Yes. That was a good feeling. So I can say today I'm in good company. Someone who knows the course very, very well. Yeah, yeah, very well. Very ah. well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sour sour. It a bit. Get right. Sit. Stay out of the bunker. Proper cost maintenance has ensured that Mudaiga Golf Club has lived up to international standards as envisioned by the course architect Peter Markovic. Good save. Good power. Up and down. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Then the crowd goes wild! <laughs> <laughs> Being part of the Karura Forest ecosystem, Mudaiga Golf Club has incorporated its beautiful flora and fauna into the golfing experience. So I'm walking to hole number two. Um, um, it's, uh, it's a short par three, just over the water. One of the holes that gives me nightmares. Hi. Right. How are you doing? Get left. Get left. Yeah? Okay. No hole in one, but at least I'm not in the water. <laughs> That's a massive improvement. <laughs> Another nightmare inducing hole is number 13, which is a 165 yard par 3 hole over the water, considered to be the signature hole at Mudaiga Golf Club.
you've represented Kenya on the international scene and you've played the Kenya Open, you can hit drive off this hole. But uh, if you're just like me, whose best competition has been winning club night, you lay up with that three wood. <laughs> And that's the reason why. Mbele iko sawa. The hazards are actually very punishing. In addition to the water hazards, you find that when you go to the bush, you've gone to the bush. So please, <laughs> you plan your game well. Otherwise, You'll have a long, long day. But it's a beautiful course, very well maintained. And that's the reason why the initial Kenya Open was hosted here. The Kenya Open was founded in, uh, in 1967. Mutaga Golf Club is, is the home of Kenya Open. Majority of the Kenya Open uh, qualifying rounds have been held at, uh, at, at Mutaga, and the other venue being uh, Karen Country Club. The Kenya oh, uh, Open has evolved from being a challenge tour event to a mainstream European tour event and we are quite proud to be a part of that history. We've got great players like Sevi Ballesteros, uh, Vijay Singh, Ian Woosnam, Trevor Abelman, Hendrik Stenson who have graced and won this tournament. So Mutai, uh, you played in the Kenya Open last year, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Um, how was that experience, playing alongside all those pros, international pros? It was a different feeling, man. Yeah. Because you know, you see those guys on TV, yeah. and next thing you know, you're playing with them. It's you're just, playing against it's them. just beside you. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, that's the thing I was saying, because um, also in high school, yeah. um, I used to have a scrapbook where I used to put all the rugby stars. Yeah. And I think two years after I finished high school, I was playing against those guys. So that feeling is, is amazing. Because yeah, actually, it's an amazing feeling, I, I actually watched you, um, I think on the second day, mm. Uh, with the Kaguiz as your caddy. Yeah. And um, which do you prefer? Do you prefer playing with a gallery following you or you just prefer playing just like an easy round at the club with no fans at all? Um, I think I prefer gallery. Gallery? Because, yeah, because I think I feed off them. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they help me. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully once this COVID is over, I can yeah. come be your cheerleader. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. Not only does Mudaiga Golf Club give you world-class golfing facilities, but this extends to their hospitality as well. The 19th Eagle, which is their newly refurbished sports bar, offers a vantage point of the course as you enjoy a hearty meal and a cold beverage. Personally, I'd recommend the Mudaiga Combo. Let me see if I can carry the trees. Ah. I'm in the trees! Ah, well out. You know sometimes in life you can do it the easy way or you can do it the hard way. You can stay on the fairway or you can take the scenic route. Guess which one I chose. <laughs> oh! The chip. A left to the 20 footer to win his first major and to put his name amongst the greats. Stares it down, looks deeply goes for it. As a TikTok sensation, you do <laughs> these moves. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Good fun, good fun. Some of the best juniors in the country uh, have got their roots. Uh, all the best players have got their roots in, uh, in, in our golf club. We are the first course uh, also to have junior tee markers based on the US Golf Kids uh, rating system. And we are working closely with uh, JGF and US Golf Kids to bring their qualifying competition to Kenya. We used to have junior camps here about every month. Yep. So there used to be about 100, 
like 80 juniors that used to come here, which is a lot. So they used to give us the facilities to practice yeah. tournaments at the end of every every week. So yeah, they gave us that competitive vibe when we were young and just encouraged us to keep playing. Yeah, so it impacted my golf a lot, quite a bit. So you think if I started as a junior, I'd be a pro by now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Good man. See where he's driven the ball. <laughs> he's a madman. <laughs> he's a madman. Woo! <laughs> Go! Aye. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Mutai, and all the best in your quest to turn uh, pro and go to the next level. Aye, right, thanks, man. I'll be, your, I'll be your biggest cheerleader. <laughs> and once you make it big, just don't, yeah. for, don't forget me. Eh? Uh, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> An athlete's ability to adapt puts him a cut above his competition. What has been your experience so far at Mudaega? Do you think you can swim with the big boys? Leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next video. An athlete's ap ability. Wow. <laughs> An athlete's ability to adapt. Put him a cut. A, a cut. A cut. Put him. A, put him a cut. An athlete's ability to adapt. Put him a cut. About uh, cuts. Cuts. Put him. A, why am I saying cuts? Is it like meat? <laughs> An athlete's ability. <laughs> Question is: If I bring you to Mudaiga, will you adapt? No. 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 That was my best pass. That was my okay. best pass. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, now let me start and pass to you. So. <laughs> Please edit this out. <laughs> <laughs>